Hey guys, Fox here with a more exciting sneak peek video. Hi, double upload today? I think so. <laughs> that was like the most basic, like, white laugh ever. <laughs> um, so today I'm discussing Spirit Halloween's Punctured Pete animatronic. This is a new constant motion animatronic. Yay! I believe this is by... The same company that made Torture Torso, which is Crazy Create. Please correct me if I'm wrong. I'm going off of vague memories here. Uh, and I honestly, this seems better than Torture Torso. Like, a lot better. I actually really like this guy. So this guy goes for $169.99, which is a, a pretty decent price for what you're getting. You're getting a life-size animatronic that's kneeling. It's cost motion, and it's, you know really trying to get this steak out of its chest you know and i think that's a really cool idea um i i think i think that uh the idea that's pretty cool i like the um noises it's making i feel like it sounds more zombie like than torso my opinion i everyone's entitled to their own opinion but i think it sounds better than torso's audio i like i love the face i love how a part of his cheeks all rotted away I really like um, the look of very advancedly decomposed corpse characters, and I think this one is more realistic than, again, Torso. The closing is pretty good. Uh, my only complaint is just there seems to be an absence of blood. It was both kind of above where the stake is, but I feel like, you know, if you just got punctured, I feel like there'd be more blood, but there really isn't. It, it, it's like... Perhaps he was impaled while being a zombie. If that's the case, okay, yeah. I guess there wouldn't be that much blood coming out of a corpse. But it's a little nitpick I have. Personally, though, I do like this animatronic a lot. And it's one of my favorites. Uh, it's definitely one of my little priority list of animatronics that I must get for the season. I, Because, I mean, this is a really cool animatronic. I think it's well executed. I think it looks really good. I like the cosmetic details of it. I like the animation of it. I like the audio of it. Even the steak. I feel like the steak's more detailed than Maestro's um, wooden handles for the marionette. For um, Daisy. Which, again, it's it's nice to see a little more detail on that. It's a very well done animatronic. And to you, Crazy Create, I say well done. I tip my hat to you because I'll finally be buying from you guys. <laughs> I'm gonna be buying a lot from Crazy Create this year. I just realized that this is like my favorite company. I think, I think Crazy Create's honestly my new favorite company. Now I think I'm finally really warming up to them. So again, congratulations, congratulations. Yes, that's a word. Congratulations, Crazy Create. Honestly, though, this is an animatronic. I am super stoked to see in stores. Um, I. I know, like, 3.4 feet sounds small, but I feel like... I feel like that's going to be a pretty good height. I'm trying to think. I was that's 3 feet. I think Annie is 3 feet. So I think he might be a little taller than Annie. So, again, that's not that's not that bad. And, again, it's a pretty nice constant motion prop, too. I'm, I'm happy to see these return. I like the idea of constant motion props. You know, a plug and go. You don't have to worry about sensors being tripped. You don't have to worry about sound sensors being tripped. It's just going. Like, and I, I like that. I like that a lot. I like the idea of uh, constant motion props. And I think it fits this character pretty well. Especially for what he's doing. Uh, yeah, honestly. I really like this animatronic quite a bit. Normally, it's usually the clowns that take the cake for me. But this year, it seems like the non-con characters are really... Uh, Winning me over this year, so <laughs> interesting. Anyway, uh, what do you think of this guy? Do you like him? Do you dislike him? Are you gonna buy him? I'm gonna buy him. I might just pre-order him. I'm gonna be fun. See him pre-order something. Oh, that was so dumb. <laughs> no, but I actually might pre-order this guy if I have the money, cause it's not that horrible of a price. You know, I'm gonna order this guy, and I might order mommy's favorite. I don't know. It's... I still don't really know how to feel about her just yet. You know? You ever get... You guys ever feel that way? Where there's just an animatronic and you're not really sure how exactly to feel about it yet? You know? He, you kind of want to warm up to it again a little more. That's Mommy's favorite for me. Anyway, that's all I got for you guys. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next video.
Bye, guys.